folks already rocking, but we're going to rock it. So, like I said last night, because it was Halloween, we got treats, no tricks. So, let's go. We made it. We made it. Woo! It's warm. Yeah! Kiss Cruise 11, yeah. week two. Fuck yeah. Man, I'm so happy to be here. It's a beautiful day. Away from the smog of downtown. And the I know, and the, the air is so much better here. Yeah, and the craziness that was LAX. Like, holy Oh crap. my God. I've never seen such a crazy airport. And, 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 and right when you get off the plane, it's just massive. There's people everywhere. Cab driver back home, he's from India. He goes, oh, it's a lot worse, sir, if he says. Oh yeah. Yeah, but holy crap. This, 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 this isn't too, too hot. No, this is like this is like a summer day in Ontario, a summer day in Alberta or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and it's, it's just good. See you later. I knew it was him. Sorry? I knew it was him. We just met Craig Gass. Yeah, the guy's fucking awesome. That was awesome. He's just hanging out. Like he's staying at, the, like staying at our hotel. Yeah. Yeah, so he's just here hanging out and... He's not going on the cruise. No, 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 no. He's just here for, he's just here for a cruise fest, I think. But like, oh, right. Yeah, he's doing, doing stand-up for cruise fest. But I don't... Uh, but yeah, I don't think he's going. But, oh, okay. Which is a shame because it'd be awesome if he was. He was yeah. last year. Yeah. Oh, so fun. So fuck off. Oh, lovely. Uh, you yeah! Picture! Tag me. Okay. Oh, it's not. You're recording. Yeah, but there's a picture button. Oh, okay. Well, well. <laughs> it is cruise day. Woo! Man, the day we've been finally, the day we've been looking forward to is finally here. It's cruise day. Fuck yeah. Awesome. So, we're, a quick recap of yesterday. We got here. We met people. And that's about it. <laughs> He's recording too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. So yeah, we're uh, headed off to breakfast and then it's checkout time and then it'll be boat time. So let's have a good day. What he said. <laughs> we're celebrating with some wine, white Zinfandel. Now let, let me have a pour pour. <laughs> Look, 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 look. All right, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, where's the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Wait, here's to the cruise. To, here's to kiss. Princess. And friends, and many, many more friends and fuck memories yeah. and awesome times. Cheers! Cheers! Chug. Mm-mm-mm. You don't like it? No, I just can't chug. But that's good. I'm not much of a wine guy, but that's really good. Yeah. White Zinfandel. Let's remember yeah. that. It's so, it's very light. Yeah. Ooh, burns going down. <laughs> Rock and roll. Cheers. We're celebrating with some wine, 
white Zinfandel. Now let, let me help a pour up. Glug, 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 glug. All right, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, here it is. Oh. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Wait, here's to the cruise. To, here's to kiss friends. and friends and many, many more friends and fuck memories yeah. and awesome times. Cheers. Cheers. Chug. You know, you see those old war footage of like the the soldiers. They're being all excited. They're going off to war, but and uh, like, but you know, it's kind of grim when you yeah. think about it. But when you see something like that, how do you not have a smile on your face going aboard that thing? Yeah, you know, there's a basketball net. Oh, is it? Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> but they lost a lot of balls. Well, turn the ship around. <laughs> we lost a ball. The stop, the who stopped being fun. We had to put tracking devices on the balls because we kept losing them. <laughs> Sharing a ship with sisters. If there's an emergency, you find a phone in your door. Video, these are the first. Oh, yeah. This is my buddy Dale. Where are we? Oh, where, where are we? We are in, we're still in, we're still in Los Angeles and San Pedro, and we're just about to set sail. Well, a couple of hours. On the Fantastic Kiss Cruise. On the Fantastic Kiss Cruise aboard Norwegian Jewel. I keep forgetting it's the Jewel, not the gym. Jewel. Well, yeah, exactly, right? Although I think the layout is the same as the gym. Ooh, baby. Don't post that. Oh, <laughs> go yeah. One, two, three, four.
So anybody that, I mean, it's such a friggin' honor to be with you people. Anybody that was on the first part of the cruise, you know this is the best cruise ever. The original. Cheers. You know, it's water. Okay, this is, this is very rough and unrehearsed.
60? I have shoes your age. Um, happy birthday to you. I don't think I have to ask you, but I will anyway. Wait a minute. Are you having a good time, people? Okay then. This one's called Christine 16. Allison Steele. Yep. Yep. And I thought we made it. We made it. Yeah. We made it. We're on the radio. Woohoo! I heard the Who, then I heard Sweat, and then I heard this, and then we made it. Ready? Yes. On water, I don't know. My brain can't do it.
Congratulations.
So we got rid of him, but he managed the band before. I build a coin as well. Good job. Good job. Well Both done. Teams. Well done. All right, question number two. Question number two. It's Scooby Doo and Kiss. Rock and roll mystery. Yeah. Who is the main villain? Ooh. Or, or villainess. Yeah. Scooby Doo and Kiss. Rock and roll mystery. Who is the main villain? That little girl over there knows the answer. You and know that, it? And that boy. Okay. Yeah, you do. You know, right? Shh, don't tell anybody. You do too? Shh, don't say anything. On the cover. Who knows it? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Okay. Oh, okay. A lot of them know. And you know. Let's see. Let's see. Cadillac, what'd you say? Lick it up. Destroyer. Lick it up. Kiss. Lick it up. Lick it up is absolutely correct. Points. Points for both teams. Well done. Here's a song Paul Stanley delusionally thinks he wrote. <laughs> here is here is the lyric. Everybody says she's looking. By the way, by the way that's a Lennon reference. It goes from. Uh, I know because I wrote it. <laughs> Everybody says she's looking good. The lady knows it's understood. Which song is that from? All you need is the name. Who knows it? Who knows it? Let me do it correctly. 90% of the crowd. She's looking good. Cadillac. Strutter. Destroyer. Strutter. You are correct. Written by Paul Stan. Destroyer. Written by me. You are a communist. <laughs> Gee. I just go with what I know, man. Gee. This is a restaurant. Simmons. Excuse me, I just got it. I don't think so. Sorry, I'm a little large. <laughs> Oh, 
devil. So we did one called Destroyer. They would love that, but everybody here doesn't do that. So.
many people here's parents got divorced in the 70s? When my parents got divorced, I made kiss my fucking family. Do you know that? Are you with me? Because you can never take kiss away from us. The fucking kiss army. Can I get a fucking... one of you people because we all share in the love of the hottest band in the land KISS if you could have told me that I'd be on a cruise ship with the demons of rock when I was a little boy I would not have believed you but here we are and I'm so thankful and I'm so happy to say cruise ship KISS ARMY Thank you. 
not at all a deep track. with each other. It's the only reason that they're there. They're, it's not about the new record. It's not about the concert. It's about this guy said this, about this guy, or this guy said this. It's not, it's not wrestling. <laughs> the one thing that I always knew that I learned from KISS is that rock and roll should always be fun. Yeah. Rock and roll should always be a great time. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that I loved about rock and roll when I was a kid is that rock and roll brings us together. I feel like I know every one of you people here. I want to invite a man on the stage right now in the spirit of rock and roll music. We only got one life. We're lucky to be here from our Lord Jesus. God, I'm, I'm being totally serious right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the stage Mr. Michael Sweet from Striker. There's only one song I can think of doing right now. And it's called God Gave Rock and Roll to You. Let's try this.
We're just doing this for God. Let's do it for God. Let's do it for rock and roll. Come on.
Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just have a seat. Just have a seat. Come on, just keep walking down. Just keep on walking down. It's fine. You see, okay, no, no, keep going down. Just keep going. Keep going. Oh! Are you guys familiar with Black Label Society? We have a special guest. We have a special guest. Ooh, you are aware. Zach and his lovely bride, Barbara. Barbara, is that what we're going with? Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. All right, welcome to the stage. Welcome to the stage. There was a little brow beating backstage. Barbara Ann over there, the beloved of Zach, wild man that he is. Okay, so everybody's gonna play for one minute, 
after we're done with that, but by make sure if you like somebody, let them know, okay? Because your participation is part of it. And after they're done, we're gonna do a little powwow and we're gonna pick three and have them come back and play again. And then we pick the winner, okay? Man, you don't even need me anymore. That was perfect. Perfect description. I'll just be over here. I told you I would help you this time. <laughs> she did all the work on the first cruise. Like we had somebody else MC and I sat there like a dud. Oh boy. Uh, so you can take it up and tell us who the first contestant is. All right, I'm all yours, Eric. Uh, okay, this is exciting, right? Sure. Like, look at this panel. Give it up for our panel. All right. Now let's give it up for our first contestant of the evening. Very brave. Going first, so give him a gigantic round of applause. We have Johnny Atomic. Johnny Atomic, contestant number three. Next up, we have. Alexander, Alexander, give it up for oh! Alex. Yeah, Alex! Hold on, Alexander, let's press our... Alex! Alexander, she wanted to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, Alexander. Alexander. Talk to you. This is like the story of my dating life. Alexander, where are you from? Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Oh! He, he likes to play drums so much that he walks past women that are talking to him. There you go. He, ch he chose the drums over the girl. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if it was worth it. All right. Here we go. You ready, Alexander? Even if you don't, it's time. Here we go. Alexander, three, two, one, hit it.
relationships, the idea of something lasting forever. And uh, most of them don't, but when, you know, the ones that do are good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, the day Brian May, the mighty Brian May from Queen, asked you guys to play his favorite Kiss song. And uh, I would like you to tell what his favorite Kiss song is. Well, it's crazy because um, <laughs> we never got to see, I certainly never got to see Queen when Freddie was with them. And really it was because they would be touring Europe almost all the time and we were touring the States. So we never got a chance to cross paths. And then in um, the 80s, we finally, I think about 83 or so, um, I met up with, with uh, Brian and then didn't see them for, for two people before that. Um, this is the end of the road. This is the last tour we're gonna do. Um, but what's happened is every place we played, every country we played, every city we played, and once I got a, a good riff or a good chord pattern, I'll just start singing. And whatever comes out usually organically becomes the basis. And then it's like a puzzle and you're filling in the, the blanks. So that's usually how it's done. Um, an exception would be Love Gun. Love Gun, I heard the whole song in my head while I was on an airplane. When I landed, I grabbed a guitar and it was all there. Then I just went into the studio and did a demo of it. But as a rule, it starts with a, a guitar figure, a guitar pattern, and then builds from there. So Paul, the song Tonight You Belong to Me off the 78 Soul album has so much feeling in the vocal. It's one of my favorite songs that you've ever written. Was there someone that you read? Thank you. Yeah, I, basically that song was just about, you know, you, you can know that something's gonna end in the morning. This guy is going to post this, so he's he's videotaping it. And when I see it on, you know, on the internet, I'm going to say, "That's the prick who is in the front row videotaping." And it's so great because he gets a great view of my nostrils. <laughs> Keep the good questions coming. Come on in, Paul. You comfy up there? How's the boat motion? Is that all right for you? Yeah, probably not. All right, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Stacy DeVille. I'm from Saskatoon. Woo uh, I'm in a band called Stacy DeVille. Uh, <laughs> How original. I know, right? Um, what was the writing process for the song Angel to You, Devil to Me by Click Five? Who introduced you to them and why did you decide to work with them? P.S. My band's working on a song, and if you have any rhymes you, you can help us with. Moon Spoon, June, uh, Croon. Um, a friend of mine, one of my best friends, Wayne Sharp, who um, manages now a, a couple of acts, um, he had this band in Boston and um, asked me if I would do something with them. So I did. I just got together. I like the idea of writing outside of what people know me to do. It's a, it's kind of like a challenge. So whether it's a song like <coughs> Hard Luck Woman, um, or things that are just kind of like left field of what I would be um, known for doing, I like that. I like, I like the challenge of, of trying to put on somebody else's identity and figure out, you know, something that would be appropriate for them. Cool, thank you. Thanks. Great question. Come on in. I think everybody's bored. No. Are you all bored talking to Paul? No. Paul, you're, you're pretty interesting, man. We enjoy hearing you talk. I, I hope you know that. Thank you so much. Uh, it's true, right? No, I mean, I'm not yes, I gotta tell you, every time, when I either do this or do the cooking or whatever, it blows me away. All all of you show up and I try not to be boring, but I also try to be myself and that's all I can do for you. I'm a car carrying member of the KISS Army. 
I'm sure everybody has read all of the KISS books by all of the members and other, there's so many KISS books. But to me, my favorite KISS book is Face the Music by Paul Stanley. Mine too. <laughs> and what, what blew me away about that book is that I thought I knew everything about KISS, but in your book, every single page, there was something that I did not know at all. And I couldn't believe, you know, your, your ear, like, you, all the stuff, like, you tell the story about after the dynasty. I'm Cody from Kansas, and I know... He's from Kansas, too. Somebody loves Kansas. I know nobody wants to think about this, but when you think about actually not touring and not having that schedule, what's the one thing that you're looking forward to doing, like with the family or that you haven't been able to do? I do everything now, you know. Um, I'm a lucky bastard. I get to, I ride my bike, I cook, I take my kids to school. Um, you know, I spend time with my wife and my friends. You know, that's, that's most important, family and friends. Uh, I uh, I can count my friends on two hands and still have fingers left. <laughs>
rock and roll to you. Keep rock and roll to everyone. God gave rock and roll to you. Keep rock and roll to you. Say rock and roll for everyone. Say rock and roll.